Hi friends, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Broom Tioga Bosies, and we're here to talk about one of the most savior programs that Windows has had, Snipping Tool, right? Uh, don't worry, Windows 11 still has the snipping tool. Let's go find it. Well, just like you did in Windows 10, you're gonna click on that Windows button. And uh, if you don't see it, you can click on all apps and then you can scroll down and uh, there to the S's and there's the snipping tool. Now you may say, you know what? I don't wanna go through that. Can I just add that to my taskbar so it's right there and waiting for me? Oh, you bet you can. And if you're not sure, here's a video that shows you how to do it, right? How to pin and unpin things from your taskbar taskbar, but maybe you don't want it there. Maybe you want an easy way to find it. If you didn't know about this trick, friends, let me show you. Right next to the Windows button is a little search area. And when I click in there, it brings up some of the recent programs that you've opened, which you'll notice I have snipping tool there because I do use it frequently on a Windows device. But maybe you don't have it and you want to find it easy. No sweat. Just type in snip. Boom. There it is the snipping tool. And when I click on this, if you're an avid user of uh, the snipping tool, you may have known at some point, like Windows was like, oh, we're gonna be calling this snip and sketch. Looks like this done, that's done. It's, it's still the snipping tool. But notice what it says right there. Press the Windows logo key plus shift plus S to start a snip. If you're able to remember that, that might be even faster for you because watch, right? Windows, Shift, and S. If I close out the snipping tool, whoop, gone. It's off my taskbar. It's not running anymore. I don't have anything going. If I do Windows, Shift, and S, bam, there it is. Draw a shape to create a snip or draw a lasso to create a snip or go into a Windows mode where I take a snip of a specific window that happens to be open, or finally, full screen mode, where I can just take a snip of my entire screen. So just another idea for you as a way to get there that might be more efficient. But like we said, don't worry, snipping tool's not going anywhere. It's still there in Windows 11, so go ahead and, well, don't snip your heart out, but take as many screenshots as you want. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can subscribe to this channel to get updates and notifi notifications when new content like this video is posted. Thanks for watching, have a great day.